when you decide to do lipo, this is what will occur. Uh, first, we'll schedule you for blood work and physical. On this day, what we're going to do is we're going to bring you in. We're going to check your vital signs. We'll do weight, uh, draw your blood for specific tests. Um, this day, we will require you to pay half of what has been quoted to you. Um, the physician will also see you on this day and do a full physical. Um, if he feels like he needs to go in further depth, he will at this point. Pre and post instructions will be gone over at this time. Your prescriptions will be given to you. The day before the procedure, will be, you will be coming in for markings. On this, at this point, the physician will mark the areas to be treated, uh, the borders and so forth. The day, of the, the day of the procedure, you will be coming in at approximately 6 a.m. in the morning. At this point, you will come in uh, medicated on some oral medications that you will take 15 minutes prior to your arrival. Upon your arrival, we will prep you appropriately, starting the IV, uh, scrubbing you in, sterilizing the areas to be treated. Uh, we will hook you up to specific monitors, uh, your blood pressure cuff, pulse ox, uh, cardiac monitor, uh, and we will situate you on the table, sterilely draping you and such. Once the local anesthesia has been implemented to all the areas of concern or the areas to be treated, the physician will begin the task of tunneling the fat or liquefying the fat at this point. He will do this with the ultrasound or vaser lipo. Once he has completed vaser lipo, he will then begin with the laser lipo, which is called lipotherm. This also liquefies the fat and also tightens the skin. Once the laser lipo has been completed, the, the physician will then suction the fat. Once the physician has completed the suction, we will put you in a compression garment that you will have to wear for 24 hours straight. At this point, you cannot shower for 24 hours. The next day when you wake, you will find that you will be swollen and some lumps have, and bumps have formed in the areas that have been treated. This is typical post-procedure. What will occur is you will start to feel discomfort, uh, a little more than a normal soreness, uh, which you can do most of your everyday activities, but at this point, you will be incapable of doing vigorous exercise for two weeks, heavy lifting, more than 30 pounds, uh, submerging yourself in water, meaning you can shower, but you cannot bathe, uh, sauna, jacuzzi, hot tub, anything of that sort. At this point, your soreness will be manageable. Um, probably two days post-procedure, you will see that you will be capable of doing most of your everyday activities. Uh, you will come back and see us one week post. We will remove the sutures. You will begin to massage the areas that we have treated. Um, it is very typical that this area will be lumpy, um, and this will help manipulate that. Two weeks post-procedure, we will bring you back. We will start a treatment that's called endermology. We manipulate a handpiece over the area that we've treated, which will help smooth out those lumps and bumps. Three weeks post-procedure is when you will typically start to see the true results of the treatment.